Well, I'm Elizabeth Palmeiro, I'm the wife of Ramon Lavagnino, one of the Cuban Five that is in prison in the United States for fighting terrorism that has been uh, causing death and pain to the Cuban people for so many years since the triumph of the revolution. He is serving a sentence of one life in prison plus 18 years in Beaumont, Texas, in a USP. Uh, he is physically okay, anemically he's okay, but he is he has been tortured since the first time in prison because he was sent to isolation confinement when he was arrested back in 1998. Uh, like his four brothers, they they stay in isolation confinement for more than 17 months. Uh, they were found guilty uh, in a in an unfair trial in Miami, the only city in the United States uh, that couldn't harbor a kind of trial like this, where five Cubans were convicted of uh, several charges, but none of them were proof. Uh, my husband uh, has been in Beaumont, Texas for more than five years. We have been there only once a year because of the delay in the visa. We have two daughters, Laura and Lisbeth, and Ramon has another one for the first, uh, his first marriage. Um, we have been now for more than one year and a half without seeing him because of this problem of the visa. We need a visa to enter to the American territory and the American authority have been using this to cause more suffering because they delay it and in some cases they deny the visa. Like in the case of Olga and Adriana, the wives of René and Gerardo, they have been denied the visa for eight times, so they have never been in the United States for visiting their husband. It is an elementary human right that have been uh, violated in the case of Gerardo and, and René. In the case of the other uh, uh, prisoners, they only receive the visits of their mothers, wives, uh, fathers, and children uh, with luck once a year. Uh, I want the people that look at this film to get informed about what is happening to these five men. In this world that is marked by the war on terror, you cannot talk about a real war on terror when you don't know about the reality of these five Cubans that are in prison in the United States for opposing terrorism that have been causing death in Cuba. Almost anybody knows about this reality. In Cuba we have more than 3,000 victims of terrorism, but nobody knows about that. Everybody talks about terrorism, but terrorism that affects the United States, not terrorism that has been affecting the Cuban people. And our relatives were there in, the Maya in Miami, infiltrating terrorist groups that have been causing death in, to the Cuban people since the triumph of the revolution. They didn't cause any harm to anybody because yes, they were just there in Miami monitoring those groups to know in advance their plans against Cuba. Our relatives were convicted because the trial war took place in, in Miami. Uh, now we are in an appeal process and this appeal process has been used by the prosecution to delay the time they will be in prison because they know that there is no case against the five. If you talk about fighting terrorism, you have to uh, release them because they are real anti-terrorist fighters. But it is a political case, a political, a, a, the political issues have been, manip have been used to manipulate the, um, the judicial process and that's why they are in prison. If they were not Cubans, they would be free because there is a lot of examples in the American system that have been uh, solved in another way. 
That's why we need the solidarity of the people. We need the people to get inf involved in this uh, matter because as a political case, we know that no other has been solved without the international solidarity of good willing people, peace loving people that once get informed about what is happening, they express their solidarity and demand justice from the authorities involved in this, in this case, the American authorities. While my husband and his four brothers are in prison, we have Posada Carrile free in Miami. And Posada Carrile is the biggest terrorist in the Western Hemisphere. The American people doesn't know about that. And the world should, inform, should be informed about this that there is a double standard in the American so-called war against terror. They harbor terrorists like Posada Carrile and at the same time they keep in prison five Cuban anti-terrorists. We, the family of the five, need the people of the world to know that to help us to make justice in, the, in this case. Cuba has the right to defend from terrorism like any other people, like any other country and we defend this right and that's why the five, the five have to be free. Thank you Elizabeth. Any particular message for Australian people listening to this? I want to thank the people of Australia that have been involved in this campaign to free the five. Uh, we know that you have been working a lot since you were informed about this situation but we need more. We need all your efforts go to the American public opinion. We need the support of the international public opinion, but we need also the support of the American public opinion since they are in prison, they are in the United States. I want to thank you everybody for all the efforts you are doing and for keeping us in your heart and in your mind all the time in this uh, campaign for justice, for love, for the truth. Thank you.